How about some rock and roll? You guys all up for it? All right, here we go. One, two,
know about people. You gotta reach them, sit them right down. And then you gotta teach them about freedom. You gotta win it, gotta put the show smack back in it. If you're joining us on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, Twitter, now known as X, or ACLJ.org, share this with your friends. Welcome to the J Secular Band, JSB, as we call it. We're glad to have everybody here with us tonight. Big night for us, as uh, tomorrow's Easter. Today is technically not the last day of the month, but it is for tonight because we're not doing the concert on uh, Easter, obviously. But your support of the ACLJ critical right now because. Any donation in our Life and Liberty Drive is tripled. So if someone donates $30, it's 90. I always come up with odd numbers, so 10 is 30 would be easier. <laughs> but you understand the idea, and the support has been great. And I need to say this also, we started a program back in October called ACLJ Champions. These are people that um, donate every month. Some people it's $5, some people it's $50, whatever it might be. We started at about 14,500 champions in October. We crossed this month, so far, over 20,000 uh, ACLJ champions. If you're a champion and you're putting in your comments, let people know you're an ACLJ champion, I'd like to know. Because we read the comments, folks, so we appreciate you standing with us, appreciate you being part of our team. So if it's one-time gift or if it's monthly gift, whatever it is, we appreciate it. ACLJ.org, the first set part of this set is the drummer workout. Can I say that? Is that a fair assessment, Mark? Couldn't happen to a nicer guy, Jay. Well, that's the deal. All right, enjoy the program, enjoy the music. White Room. Here's one from Cream. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. I'm 
darkness in the hot ground. How about that one, folks? Good start. The drummer can still breathe, which is a good thing. I will also say new tune coming up. Brand new. If you're watching on any of your social media that you find us, uh, share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And you're saying, this doesn't remind me of your radio broadcast. Right? Because it's not. This is... Uh, a special we do about six times a year for all of our members around the country. Hundreds of thousands of people will be watching this in the next 24 hours. Yep. It's pretty amazing um, to see and we get thousands and thousands of, of comments. 99.9 .9 positive. There's always one, right? But then they tell me those are just trolls, so ignore them. But uh, we don't get many of those, actually. We have a great time here. We've had, listen, we've had our songs covering Sticks posted on Sticks' website. That's pretty good. Uh, so, anyways, this is a brand new tune that Mark's getting ready to tune up for. Uh, we want to do a McCartney tune called Band on the Run. You don't see a lot of bands doing yeah, this, Band on the Run. This is a pretty ambitious undertaking, so we'll see how oh, it's going to go great. <laughs> Always be positive. Uh, folks, let me encourage you this also. Support the work of the ACLJ, ACLJ.org. I need to say also, John Schlitt uh, here, our, uh, one of our great singers, star celeb. But also, I will say, Williamson County, or they say, where is, you're on, like, websites. John Schlitz. John Schlitz on the ACLJ board, so he gets an uh, inside look at our organization all the time, which is great. And he could attest to the great work that our team's doing around the globe. Absolutely. I, and I'm sort of holding off for a little bit, but I will be talking about it, because you don't understand just how important ACLJ is. You can't take it for granted. You can't take it for granted, but I'll talk about it in a little bit. Praise God. <laughs> you guys right Here we go. Inside these four walls 
Pat themselves on back, they're doing a good job, isn't it? All having fun tonight? You having a good time? Are you home having a good time? Send those emojis. Let us know if your uh, your comments. I'd say we'll take uh, requests, but we can't because we've been practicing, folks, and that's what we do. We're having a great time. Thank you again for supporting the work of the ACLJ. Another McCartney tune, John Schlitt. John Alfonte, your favorite, right? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, <laughs> hey, we all get our favorites. A little workout for the, uh, the singers. Yeah, this section is the singer workout. Yeah, all McCartney right. was like in his 30s when he did this. So are we. So. Well, I'm, I'm, I just had a birthday at 32. That's right. Yeah, exactly. So. Take it away, John. There's Lowry. nobody up here, by the way. Just to be clear, there's nobody up here that's 30-ish even. <laughs> but there will be tonight. That's right. We will be tonight. All right, folks. Enjoy the tune.
Thank you very much. John, why don't you tell them why we're here? We're here because ACLJ needs your help. We are excited about the fact that we as musicians, and we love the, the chance to do this because we know the ministry of ACLJ is very important. And for us to be able to use the talents to help support is always a very exciting thing for us here on stage. And guys, I could start telling you about uh, some of the stuff that you never hear about. Well, you're talking about a case, we've got a case on death row yeah. in Pakistan. Christian young man, 16 when he was incarcerated, now 21 years old. Yeah. We are now at the Supreme Court of Pakistan and they've stayed the death uh, execution, which is a good step. They actually shockingly have a, a judicial system that's based on the English common law, because it was an English colony. So we, ha we find ourselves in these unique situations around the globe where we're working with a diverse group of people to defend, it's primarily, 99% of the cases are Christian minorities being persecuted in a horrible situation, but as John said, we've had other groups we've represented too. If you're on death row because of your faith, we try to be there to help. All over the world. All over the globe. And offices all over. They have an office in Pakistan. I mean, we've got offices in places we don't talk about. But again, your support of the ACLJ is critical. We appreciate that at ACLJ.org. Any amount you donate is tripled. I will tell you this, folks. We've got some really big plans. Big, big projects ahead. Expanding our office in Washington, D.C. and other places. Well, more to talk about that later. But anyways, are we ready? Little Eric, Derek Clapton? Or Eric Clapton? Derek and the Dominoes? Yeah, yeah. this is one of the newer ones for us. And uh, we love it. But it's like Eric Clapton and... Dwayne Allman joining forces in a band, and I think they only did maybe one album, That's it. maybe two. Yep. I think it was uh, they call they went by the name Derek and the Dominoes. Uh, but this song is so absolutely amer amazing, and those and, of you and we do it just know. like we do it with the double drums. Although I will be exiting the drums at a part to play acoustic guitar because we need another guitar player. Correct, <laughs> and then Chris will carry the load for the remainder of that song. But we're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, this is Layla. Here we go. <laughs>
Well done, boys. Well done. You having a good time? We are. A little workout for the drummer, I might say, both times. Good job there, Chris. How about Chris Cook on the drums there? Jay's partner in crime. If... That's right. <laughs> ah! I shouldn't say that. Hey. I heard he's a lawyer. <laughs> Songs no band would cover, except us. Blinded by the light. Man for man's earth band. Who, who, would, who would cover that besides us? Besides man for man, I guess. I guess I gotta get I love on. this song so right, much. There we go. That's it. originally a Springsteen song, right? Yep. Yeah, Springsteen wrote it. Yep. I like this version better. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, this is Blinded by the Light. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Another runner in the night Blinded by the light Wrapped up like a deuce Another runner in the night
Jesus rose and told them right in their mouth Another runner in the night, blinded by the light. Revved up like a deuce. Another runner in the night, blinded by the light. Take it to the summer, revved up the light. Another runner in the night, in the blinded by the light. Revved up like a deuce. Another runner in the night, with the body in the light. Revved up like a deuce. Another runner in the night. Down, but she never got tired. She's gonna make it through the night. Hey, folks, your support of the American Center for Law and Justice is critical. We really appreciate it. Let me encourage you to do something. If you haven't supported the ACLJ, great time to do it. I'm gonna do this and do this. Voila. Uh, great time to support. John could take it from here while Absolutely. I get ready. Absolutely. Now remember, right. uh, what's special about this is every dollar that goes in, there's someone that's going to contribute every $10, $30, every $100, 300 every $1,000, 3000 It's a beautiful way to support a ministry that I don't think gets enough credit ever. But that's okay because they're not out to get credit. They're we out want to make results, not credit. That's what I tell our team. Yep. I don't want credit. I want results. We got a pretty good result in that uh, attempt to knock the former president off the uh, yes. ballot. Yeah. Yeah. Little 9-0. Yeah. So we, got, we represented the Colorado uh, GOP. Actually, we represented the GOPs all over the country. There were 16 of these lawsuits, and it was, it was ridiculous. The 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution was passed, or a little history lesson, during Reconstruction. It was to stop the southern states from interfering with the rebuilding of not only the country, but of rights for newly freed slaves. It was a restraint on the states. Colorado decided it was a grant of power to the states. Not one justice of the United States Supreme Court agreed with them. Not one. Nine, zero. So now we got the immunity case up there. Those briefs have been filed. That case has been argued in April. It will be argued in April. A little, little trickier uh, in the sense of there's a lot more parts moving on that one. I'm optimistic. The president doesn't have immunity for making decisions and official acts. I was in the Oval Office. I was there when a lot of decisions were made. And let me tell you something. Not only do we already have a battery of lawyers, you'd have to quadruple it. If knowing when you leave office, you could then be criminally prosecuted for the decisions you made as president in your official capacity. So it's a very narrow case in one sense. It's just immunity from criminal prosecution for official acts. That's it. The, there was a case, the predecessor case, Nixon versus Fitzgerald, involving President Nixon. Uh, Fitzgerald sued him in civil capacity, and the court said he's immune. You can't, even if you disagree with the decision, you can't criminalize it. We are looking like a third world country right now. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. Jordan just came back from our offices in Europe. And they're all saying, what is going on in the United States? You know, they do this in Venezuela, where they indict the formers and everybody's going after each other. How about let the ballot box decide? You know, a real simple solution. But you know what? Your support of the ACLJ lets us address issues for that young man in Pakistan or at the Supreme Court of the United States. So, hey, we just had a big win also in Nevada. Last time we were together, I talked about that case. A student was required to read this monologue that was pornographic. In fact, when her mother went to read it at the school board meeting, they stopped her from doing it. They said, you can't read it. We don't allow profanity here. She said, well, how would you like to be my 15-year-old granddaughter, a daughter, having to read that in class? So they filed this big motion to dismiss, which they lost. Uh, the judge is appointed by President Obama and said there was no pedagogical, that's a 
educational interest in compelling her to violate her conscience and do this. So anyways, that's, that's another case. So from the Supreme Court right down to the district court, ACLJ is there. Support the work of the ACLJ, ACLJ.org. And if you're watching, go to ACLJ.org and share this feed with your friends so more people can enjoy the music. We are just getting started. Mark? This song has a 707 in it. Not that it's an old song. I wonder, if I wonder a 707 if this, yeah. pulls up to the gate, don't get on it. <laughs> I don't know, Jay. <laughs> Take it away, John Lowry. Alfonte written Kansas tune. I love this tune, by the way. Fight fire with fire. 
By the way, Fox, Brett Bear had it on his program not once, at least twice, that I saw. So it's a, it's a great tune. It kind of sums up what we do. Definitely does. So you didn't know when you wrote it that here we would be? Never. <laughs> I take but that I'm, in a positive but I'm, way. But I'm glad. Pretty trippy. And is that, uh, this was the first one you did with Kansas? The first album, full length? No. Oh, it, second. It was the second one. Okay, gotcha. So that's pretty amazing. You know, people don't know how this stuff is recorded, and it's, you know, huge hit on the radio. You know, everybody thinks it's... There's another song, yeah. the drums were recorded in the bathroom. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious. We're going to set up at the downstairs bathroom, Jay, just letting you know that. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> no more stinky bathroom songs. That's right, exactly. <laughs> Not for this group. So this, right. this is called Fight Fire with Fire. And this, this, is, this is John Elfonte here. Reminds me of my first Supreme Court argument, the Board of Airport Commissioners versus Jews for Jesus, my very first appearance at the Supreme Court. And one of the periodicals, Legal Times, I think it was, said my uh, argument was rude, aggressive, and obnoxious. <laughs> then when we won another 9-0, to zero, they said I remain undeterred during intense questioning. 
So fight fire with fire. You have to fight fire with fire. That's the way it is. Uh, we know ultimately our hope is in the Lord, and that's where the strength comes from. But, we, you know, look, we're in a battle for, you know, if you look at it in the United States, we are in a battle for the survival of a constitutional republic. I mean, the stuff that we're even having to litigate, you think about this for a moment, it's breathtaking. But nevertheless, and I said to, I told somebody the other day, the first 40 years were the warm-up. Although the last, I had a four-year run there, it was equal to about 40 years, I would say. Uh, look, I mean, we've, we've been to the, we've had the highest profile cases in the world. I mean, I've been to the International Criminal Court in The Hague a couple of times. The truth is, I did and there's not many lawyers that could say this, and I don't mean this to boast, because we could not do this without the support of our ACLJ members. Would not happen. But here's what did happen. I went, flew to Amsterdam, argued a case representing the interests of the United States uh, at the International Criminal Court in The Hague. It was, it was, the case was entitled the, Islam, the Situation in the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, and they were trying to charge the U.S. with war crimes. So the United States doesn't recognize... Uh, the ICC's jurisdiction. But the guy that was the commander-in-chief said, I'll just send my lawyer. That'll let him know what's going on. So I showed up. These cases never get coverage. There were like 50 cameras. I mean, it was unbelievable. It was, it was days and days of argument. The end result was great. But the fact of the matter is, four weeks later, I was on the floor of the United States Senate with our team defending that same president from an impeachment. So... You know, it was, and then two months after that, had three cases at the U.S. Supreme Court. And you look at what we're doing right now with all these Supreme Court cases. I mean, they're moving like at record speed. You just got to be prepared. And because of the support of our ACLJ members, we could do it. And we're yes. uh, here at the last day uh, for this match. And it's a triple match, which we only had one other time in our history. But we've got it tonight. John? Absolutely. Did you just hear what he said? Do you realize this man is all over the world? I, he won't say this, but I'm just so blown away that we're on the same stage with him. He has made a difference all over the world. He and his team. And he does it in the name of Christ. That's what's so cool. Does it in the name of Christ. This is a godly man who goes out and can face the world with guts in the name of Christ. Folks, I don't know about you, but I'm looking around all the time for people that represent Jesus Christ in a bold way. And this organization does exactly that. And it gets in the middle of things and it can make a difference. That's why we're here tonight. That's why we're asking. Praise God you're listening. I hope you're having a great time. But contribute. Every dollar you contribute is $3. Every $10 is 30 It's time to make a difference. If you're fed up, if you're fed up with watching the world the way it is and going, somebody's got to do something, Somebody is. Support them. And you will be doing the same thing because it, we work as a team. We work as a team. And that's what's so exciting. Teamwork, guys, and we can make a difference. And let me, let me say something about the team. We've got a, a whole generation of lawyers coming up, folks, I am really excited about. These are lawyers between, and policy experts between the ages of late 20s and mid 40s that are just dynamic and taking the organization to heights we really could not have imagined. Your support makes a huge difference. So as John said, thank you. So we're going from fight fire to fire with fire to lucky man. Now, at the end of the tune, it wasn't so lucky for this man, as you remember. But this was actually the first song I ever learned on guitar. Exactly. I, I was in Macon, Georgia in law school, and the guy that lived next to me, we, had a, we, had a, we lived in an apartment. Mercer's mascot is the bears, the Mercer bears. And the apartment was called Bear Arms. What they didn't tell you is you needed a bear arms to live there. Lawyer's name was, uh, law student's name was Mike Twaits. He was a very good guitarist, but he wanted somebody to play. But you couldn't play drums in there because it was little tiny apartments. So we went and bought a $69, guitar, probably a $39 guitar, uh, and he taught me Lucky Man. So here we are, many, 44 years later, doing Lucky Man. All right. Ever since Lincoln Palmer, here we go. <laughs> And ladies by the score All dressed in satin And waiting by the door Ooh, what a lucky man he was Ooh, what a lucky man he was White lace and feathers The 
Everybody. Marco Pangallo yeah, on guitar. Yeah. How about that, everybody? It's good to right here. If you're just tuning in, and you could just be tuning in, because you're watching whatever platform you're watching on, share the feed with your friends. Support the work of the ACLJ at ACLJ.org. This is the last day for our very rare triple match. This is the second time in our history of doing this for 40 years that we've had this opportunity. We've got it uh, for these days, so we really appreciate it. Your support makes a huge difference, aclj.org. You enjoying yourselves? Yeah. Now, I could ask our audience here, I'm going to also ask folks at, at, that are watching on wherever you're watching, Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, Twitter, aclj.org, where are you from? And put the place and the country you're from. That's right. Countries you're from, because we have people listening from all over the world. Now we're going to do a Petra tube. Now, there's a relationship here we need to kind of put in, in perspective. So, John and John and John. Schlitt, Elefante, Lowry. The three referred Johns. referred to as the Johns. The Johns. John and John, Petra. John E and John S. Uh, John uh, Lowry and John Schlitt. John E produced Petra. So there you go. And you're going to hear a Petra e tune right now. was also a taskmaster for the look for a singer. But, which was good. You needed that. I think we found one. <laughs> This, uh, this is actually very much honored. Thank you, Jay, for choosing to do this song. This, uh, it's actually a, a, just an honor to play for you. It's a Christian song, and uh, it's been all, played all over the world. Um, I guess you'd call it classic, uh, and we're just honored to be able to do it here for you tonight. It's called Beyond Belief. Who would we be if we didn't cover a Petra song with you guys in the band? 
Well, uh, I think we'd be a little shallow. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, no, that, that something we've never there. been accused there's, there's of. Not a shallow, there's not a shallow person in this band. What are we talking about? This is a fun song. You ready, Jake? I am ready. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, and. Now listen, ACLJ, need your help. This is why we're up here tonight. Praise God, we get a chance about six times a year to be able to be as a band and come in and 
hopefully entertain you. I hope you're being entertained a lot. But that's not the main reason. The main reason is to draw your attention to the fact that ACLJ needs your support. The truth is we have a triple opportunity. For every $100 you send, we are going to be able to triple. We aren't, but a, a very nice bunch of folks are going to triple it. Where can you get a deal like that? Come on. Talk about anti-inflation. Yes. So please, think about it. As you're listening to us here, and if you just tuned in, stick with it till the end and then go on back because you can watch the whole thing and still contribute. Thanks, God. Everybody, I'd like to introduce these folks to you on saxophone here. This is Christy Bissell. Right here on trombone. This is her father-in-law. This is Roger Bissell. And on trumpet back there, this is Jamie Simmons. And uh, this is how this is how we fly in in JSB. It's like literally we rehearsed a song like a couple times before we did it, or before we're doing this tonight. We did it earlier in the well, day. Yeah, so we use top notch people. So that's right. These guys came in and uh, it just absolutely nailed are, are, it, which is cool. So. Are you all ready for a treat? Yeah. I hope this whole night has been. If you're watching now, this is a great time to share it with your friends. JSB welcomes a great horn section to a great tune by Looking Glass. It's called Brandy. You're a fine girl. And I get to sing it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Got the, the magic John Elefante uh, tambourine here, so. You guys ready to kick this? Jay, you good? Okay, yeah. here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, and four. Ships and they know who sailors pass the time away talk about their own. There's a girl in this harbor town and she works laying whiskey down. They say, Bradley, fetch another round. She serves in whiskey and wine. The sailors say, Bradley, got a fine girl. The bears the name of a man the friend they loved. He came on a summer's day, bringing gifts from far away. But he made it clear he couldn't stay. No harbor was his home. The sailor said, Brandy, gonna find your father.
Give it up for the horn section, folks. Roger Bissell, Christy Bissell, Jamie Simmons. <laughs> Mark, why don't we introduce the good time to introduce the band? I think that's a great time to introduce the band. Uh, folks, we're so glad that you are spending the evening with us. We know you have a lot of options, and uh, I want to introduce everybody real quick. Over there on the far side of the stage, playing drums, guitar, keyboards, everything. He's our utility guy. This is Chris Cook. <laughs> Over beside him on bass guitar, uh, one of the original Jay Secular Band members, this is Scott Kirkman. The other of the original band members is right behind me on guitar, Marco Pangallo. Uh, the closest thing we will ever get to somebody like Keith Emerson quality on keyboards back here, John Lowry. And I can't, I can't overstate that. He, John is an amazing talent. So, And of course, our incredible singers over here, we've got John Elefante. Formerly of Kansas, but he also has done solo work for a ton of years, puts out tons of records. You guys all know about this stuff. And uh, over here, next to me, who I have a great privilege to join in the, uh, the Hythe Club over here. <laughs> we keep things tall in the band, don't we? <laughs> this is John Schlitt, everybody. <laughs> I have Mark Townsend here, who is, wears about as many hats as you can put on his head. Uh, leader. Uh, amazing guitar player, uh, director, uh, uh, just a lower of Leonard Skinner next time. Yeah. Definitely, most definitely. <laughs> there's a, there's a lot going on technically, believe believe it or not. Yeah, he, and Mark keeps that in line. Again, if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here. In fact, the, the fact that he puts up with us two singers is truly amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm few impressed. people could do that, and he's been able to keep us corralled and. And uh, under control. It's, it's a privilege. And you know what's even uh, an, a more amazing privilege is to play in a band uh, with somebody that represents ACLJ and actually plays music to everybody, Mr. Jay Seculo. <laughs> Another bad finger tune. Yes. The first, you know what, I, I, I am ashamed of myself to say that I did not really know about this tune until Jay and Marco brought it to my attention like, like 11 years ago. Uh, I love the Badfinger stuff that's out there, but I really only knew the radio hits and come to find out that this was sort of one of them. Uh, but this is such a charming song. I absolutely love it. Uh, this is called Baby Blue. Join us in this. Here we go. Yes, I got what I deserve. Kept you waiting there too long, my love. All that time without a word. Didn't you know?
Thank you, Jay, for introducing me to that team. Yeah. As Elefante would say, a classic. We're about to do a classic. I gotta go to guitar, but let me just say, never been any reason. Head East, I'm your biggest fan. I have more copies of Flat as a Pancake than anybody in America. He's, he's a bit giddy in a good way. But remember, folks, every dollar is three. That's what we have tonight. It's a triple, which is like Jay said earlier, it's the second time we've done this, uh, that we've had an opportunity to do this, uh, this whole year. So please, for you all that are just pulling in, this concert, folks, is for ACLJ. It's to raise the support for ACLJ that's making a difference all over the world. Folks, this is a good time to share this feed with your friends. Let me just put it that way. Are you all ready to rock right here in the audience? We're about to have a great time. Here we go. Check it, Chris.
the sweet love and better than a white lie. But don't you know she could bring a good feeling? They ain't had it such a long time. Yeah, save my life, I'm going down for the last time. <laughs> the man can rock and roll. Listen, this band can rock and roll. You know, a singer is only as good as the band that's with him. And I have been very blessed to be with the band right now. It's ama- This is an amazing band. Praise God. Good looking, too. Not bad. I'll tell you, well, the part of it. I'm going to go, no, I'm going to go down that. Because I'm, I'm a humble man. We have a special moment. Yeah, we, we got another special moment for you folks. Are you up for that? Um, we are, would like to introduce to you to one of our friends. Uh, this is Sarah Gary. Where are you at, Sarah? Right She's right there. <laughs> she stuck past me. Her stuff. second appearance with the band, I might add. Yes. yes. So uh, you know what that means? That means that we're going to do uh, Blackwater from the Doobies. Yep. You all have had some night tonight. In a brass section. These are Nashville musicians, folks. You're not going to get any better. And we're about to have a great tune right here with Sarah. Sarah, welcome back. Yes, yeah, Sarah. All right. <laughs> So, uh, Sarah, you good to go? You got to sing along with the song. All right, here we go. I can, I can hear the rosin on the bow, which is amazing. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> this is Blackwater, just like this. One, two, a one, two, three. <laughs> Mississippi moon, won't you keep on shining on? Oh, oh black water, keep on rolling. Mississippi moon, won't you keep on shining on? Oh, oh black water, keep on rolling. Mississippi moon, won't you keep on shining on me? Yeah, keep on shining your night. Gonna make everything pretty, mama. Gonna make everything alright. And I ain't got no worries, cause I ain't.
the head, hands take me by the head. Pretty mama, I'm gonna dance with your daddy all night long. I like to hear some funky Dixie land. Pretty mama, gonna take me by the hand, by the hand, hands take me by the head. Pretty mama, I'm gonna dance with your daddy all night long. I like to hear some funky Dixie land. Pretty mama, gonna take me by the hand. Sarah Gary, everybody. Hey, folks, we appreciate it. We got a couple more of tunes for you. Don't go anywhere. But your support of the ACLJ is absolutely Thanks, critical. Sir. Support the work of the ACLJ. We're in a triple match. Any amount you donate, we're getting three times that. It's the second time in our history that's happened. So it really, really helps us out here as we budget. Also, let me say this. We, I said this earlier. I want to say this again. We um, started a program. We've had what they call recurring donors, people that give each month for decades. But we never had a formal program, and Logan really came up with this back in, in September and said, we really need to focus on that, because that really helps you plan out how you're going to proceed, you know, the, the year ahead. You can rely on this. So we called our ACLJ champions. We started in October with 14,500. We have crossed 20,000 uh, ACLJ champions. These are people that give each and every month. And the beautiful thing about that is when we're in these matching challenges or, or doubled your gift, or triple in this case, that all counts. So for us, it's building a huge base of support. We also know you're praying for us. The ACLJ this year, uh, this last year for the first time, issued an ACLJ prayer guide. 140,000 of those have been downloaded. Let me give you that number again. 140,000 ACLJ prayer guides, people praying for the ACLJ every single day or, every, or once a week, however your schedule allows, makes a huge difference. So again, a huge thank you to our ACLJ champions. Our thank you, of course, to those that have downloaded the prayer guide. You can get it at aclj.org. Continue to support our work. We've got a couple of the double drum tunes coming up. Yes. All right, Chris. Chris and I are ready. Are you ready? Yeah. I think everybody's heard this song, huh? I can't imagine anybody who hasn't. It's such a great, it's such a feel-good tune. Any way you look at it. If I'm looking at the right song, which I am. <laughs> I think so. So kind of like laid back 70s, the lyric. <laughs> you ready to go, Jake? Yeah. All right, this is uh, listen to the music. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Come on, man.
Surrounded castles in the sky And the crowd is growing bigger not listen to that and just be happy. I mean, Are you all ready for one more tune? <laughs> one more tune. Now we could do the old get up, you clap, we come back out, but you know what? We're over 45, 55, 65. 65. Hey. So we're just going to do it. If you're just tuning in, which you might be, if you're watching on our social media platforms, let me encourage you, share the link with your friend and it's going to refresh in about five minutes and it'll be, you'll be able to watch the whole thing. And there will be, let me tell you this, hundreds of thousands of people will view this in the next 24 to 48 hours. So sharing with your friends really helps us. And again, support the work of the ACLJ, aclj.org, and your gift will be tripled. We're going to end with, well, it's a classic fun too. We're, we're going to be musical on this. So just, just follow me down the road. Everything's going to be fine. So. Then we're going to get a Leonard Skinner too next month. <laughs> See, Mark, yes. I've got a fan club here for this. Right, so, Mark, we're just free, too. We're freelancing here, as they say? Yes, there's going to be some freelance in this. So, so just follow me. We're we, gonna, this is production in the making. Nice. This, 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 this is how you create you something. You up for it? So, I'm up okay. for it. I, always. Up for so it. the front of the song, we're going to do normal, okay? It's sure, like just what they all say. Volcano, we'll just follow right? you for instructions. <laughs> exactly. yeah. Shifting sand. Here. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. This it goes like this.
keep on that groove. We're shifting to the key of C, John Lowry. Key of C. Everybody else drop out. <laughs> 